What's up everybody, Caroline here at Bufa Distribution. Today we're gonna do the unboxing of the Crocs Prime. Um, it just arrived yesterday from Storm on the truck. So we're gonna take it to the studio and open it up. Stay with us. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different for you guys. Um, we kind of want to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of how we do these videos. So we're gonna leave here from the, the warehouse. We're gonna make our way to the studio and show you how we're set up. Alright guys, so now that you've seen a little bit of the behind the scenes of how we set this all up uh, when we do our videos, let's talk business. We are going to be doing the unboxing of the Storm Crux Prime. So here we are. A little shout out to one of our fellow Canadians, Francois Lavoie. If you remember, he won the 2016 US Open using the Alpha Crux. So I'm pretty sure he's going to love this one. So let's get it out of the, out of the box. Into and into the light but here it is the storm crux prime with the new spec logo here from storm storm here mm, wow <laughs> it actually smells really good <laughs> what's the fragrance pomegranate cider wow nice it's beautiful it's pretty i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna like this um, in order to talk more about this ball, I'm gonna get my tech guy to join me. So my genie Joe is gonna join me right now in order for us to talk a little bit more about this beauty. So Joe? Hey, genie Joe, welcome! <laughs> nice for you to be with us, to join us for this, uh, this review, the Crux Prime. Mm -hmm. So Joe, please, you're our tech guy here at Buffa Distribution. Make us learn a little bit more about this beauty. So this beauty here is a 2.0 version of the popular uh, Alpha Crux. Uh, when they came out with the Alpha Crux first, they improved on three keys, three important keys. It was flare potential, surface topography, and then the ease to drill the bowling ball. So now with this one here, they increase a couple things. They increase the entry angle, a greater margin of error. Okay because the ball is simply stronger. And also, the big thing is with the, with the core inside, with the uh, vertical cavity technology that they have into the core, now this ball will dig in a little bit more when, when the transition appears on the lane. Okay. So when the ball will hit friction in the middle lane, this one will dig down and go longer and keep his power in the finishing touch of the lane. So Joe, tell me if I'm wrong, but for this ball, they have a new cover now? Correct. Which is different from the Alpha Crux? Yes. On the Alpha Crux, they had the GI-16, which was a little, a little bit uh, less stronger than this one. And then on this one, it's called the Spec Solid Reactive, that the one that you mentioned at the beginning. So this cover is stronger, uh, dig down better down the lane. It goes through the mid lanes even if they encounter some friction and okay. it will like i said will will keep its power for the pack in motion and what about the what are the numbers for this one this one is exactly the same core so the numbers are exactly the same so if we go for 15 pounds we have a 2.50 rg differ, differential of 0.52 and a mid diff of 0.17 so it's exactly the same number that we have on the previous alpha crux Big difference is, is the cover stuck. On what, what kind of lane condition can we expect to use this ball? Um, uh, out of the box, you need to go on heavy, heavy, heavy condition. Uh, this ball was kind of create for everybody, uh, especially the pros, because they bowl on such a high volume of oil. Yeah, that's what I heard, that a lot of and pros were pro, A lot of pros that, uh, were missing that piece. It's even stronger than the yeah. Alpha Crux. And even for for our regular customer that doesn't have that much rev, mm -hmm. at least this ball is going to pick up in the mid and hook hook back in the back end. So that's going to help our bowler that have like uh, less than 300 RPM and this yeah. ball is going to make a motion down the lane. Okay, Joe, now can you maybe um, explain to us what the Doppler test is because not everybody knows maybe Yeah, exactly. What it is. It's something something that uh, Storm provide us. It's something very cool. So we can uh, use uh, the new ball versus an older ball. So in this case, they use the Physic that came out in October. So it's a uh, comparison between correct, the two? Correct, correct. Physic was a pretty strong piece. 
uh, probably close to an alpha crux. Okay. Uh, so they did a couple tests and what's it's fun, you, they have four different categories. They have the length, the mid lane reaction, the back end reaction, and the entry angle. Okay. So for the crux prime, she has a 2.3% less length than, less length than the physic. But on the other end, in mid lane and back end reaction, it's almost 3% more. And entry angle is almost 4% more. This ball rolls a bit earlier than the physic, hooks more in the mid lane, hooks more in the back end, and creates more entry angle than the physic by almost 4%. So anybody that are using a physic and they need something a bit earlier and stronger, they go to that beautiful piece. All right, Jeannie Joe. Well, thank you so much for uh, all of your knowledge about the specs of the Crocs Prime. I don't really need you anymore, so I'm sorry, but we're going to have to make you go away. All right, so now that we know more about the cover and core combination of the new Crocs Prime, we're going to have Matthew um, go on our lane and give it a few shots so that we can we can see what it looks like down the lane. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Please make sure to let us know what you guys think. We want to hear about you. We want to know your comments, if you have questions or anything like that. If you do have suggestions for us uh, in order to, to change something in our video, so please let us know in the comments below. It's going to be greatly appreciated. Um, also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see more videos, just click down here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.